sorry to slow, but like I said, my last video that I just did, I've been having editing issues. So I, I tested it. Let's see if this works. Yeah, so this is a video I've been having most problems with. So we'll see how we go with this one. So, yeah, so we are going to look at Greece Rise of the Pink Ladies. I actually saw this on a Prime video because I don't have Paramount Plus, but you can get Prime video with Paramount Plus as well because it's a package deal. And I gotta say, I was totally right about the show. I mean, it's so good, so good and faithful to the original movie as well. So, if you have not seen Greece with John Travolta and Olivia Newton John, you must go and see that movie because you'll get all the references and stuff like that. So, if you haven't seen Greece, go and see it. It's such a good movie. And you'll know why it's a classic for a reason. So yeah, so we're going to talk about Grace Rise of the Big Ladies. So yes, so this is kind of based off the idea of, um, you know, Grace, uh, you know, if you see the movie Grace from the original Pink Ladies, and you're wondering, do they capture, do they pay homage to the original Pink Ladies? And yes, they do. I can say that. No. I didn't know if you were surprised to see this, but I was. Not only we get a reference, but we get a, a we get a appearances from a young Betty and a young Frenchie. Oh, that's so awesome. I was not expecting for the show to do that, but I'm glad they did because it ties in the Grace universes together, I guess. So, yeah, so that's really cool. And also, they portrayed uh, young Betty and young Frenchie really well, and it looked like their adult selves. So, I was surprised by the casting, but they look, they look very similar to their young to their adult selves as well. So really good casting there. From the personalities to the the way they act, the way they portray these characters is such a good job. These actresses should be so proud of themselves because they did such a good job. And like I said, it's very hard to take an iconic character and do it justice. And I think here these new newcomers have done justice to Frenchie and Betty. And that would make people that would make people um very happy with that. So I'm pleased by that as well. So they're not really in the show a lot, but their presence is still there. You know, they're not really the main characters. They're more like supporting main characters. They're not really in the show a lot, but their presence is key because they became the pink ladies in the original movie. So, yes. So, um, in the ending of, um, um, in the episode, in episode 10 is the finale episode. And there's a scene where they sort of like they, uh, uh, you know, the, the team is sort of racing cars and, Stuff like that. And uh, Frenchie and Betty say, hey, you know, if you need advocates for the pink ladies, you know, we could be the pink ladies for you because they want to help them out. And then they're like, uh, no. <laughs> but, you know, I would advocate them for uh, the pink ladies, even though they're in, uh, is it middle school? Do Americans call it middle school? I mean, we call it a different, uh, we, we call different, I think we call it public school here. So, yeah, so I think they were in middle school, I think, or public school, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, but I would advocate them for something. So we do know they are become the pink ladies in the original movie. And they're towards the end of the show. They're like, hey, let's start our own group. And I'm like, uh, you become the pink ladies in the original. Have you not seen the Grease movie to figure it out? So it's weird how, or maybe they make a different group. I don't know. But I would prefer a jump time. Like, I would prefer them doing, like, a, a jump to the future for to see them as the pink ladies. That would have been pretty awesome. But unfortunately, they're not doing that. Unfortunately, they focus on characters as well. And plus, it takes a lot of time for them to form the group. It takes, like, what, 10 episodes to come together at the end. It is crazy. So, yes. So, we have new characters. Um, everyone, well, excluding one, everyone does a really good job here. Um, I can't spoil for you what happens, but their character arcs are so good. Except for Nancy. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll know what I mean if you see the show. Uh, Nancy, I did not get into Nancy. I'm sorry. I'm sure the actress is doing a good job, but she's not. I'm like, uh, I think she's supposed to be portrayed as a wild card, but, the, but it doesn't look like a wild card. So we'll see how people react to Nancy as well. As for other characters, not only they focus on them, but also they focus on other school characters as well. Like, uh, what do you call that group with the red jackets? Is that like the Rydell nerds or something? I don't know. They're not really in the movie, so I'm like, uh, you're focusing on that. They're not really the uh, premise of the movie, if you've seen the Grease movie, so I don't know what that's about. And also, they focus on the T-Birds as well. Um, in one episode, it's all about the boys, and you kind of get a flashback of what happens with the, before the show starts. So I thought that was really interesting as well. So not only they focus on the main characters, but also they focus on other characters, and they, and they have different uh, 
um, stories and plots, which I thought was very interesting, because sometimes they don't really do that. They focus on the main characters, but, like, you've got supporting characters as well, and they shine as well as the main characters of the show as well. So, let's talk about music. Oh, boy. There's a lot of musical numbers in every single episode. I was surprised. I went, oh, cool, it's a musical. They should have made it really clear in the trailer, but they didn't. So, every musical number, one of them looks like, like a, because this is set in the 50s, isn't it? So, this is a prequel, isn't it? Yeah. Doesn't make sense to me in time, but I guess. So, one of the musical numbers looks like you're watching a classic old movie from the 90s. It is insane. And some of it, and some of the music reminds me of a music video. So, that's also insane. I'm like, oh my god, this looks like a movie. Oh my god, this looks, looks this is look, let's, sorry, this looks like a music video come to life on screen. It's insane. Um, so yeah, so I thought that was really good as well. Um, the Hit Me Again so straight out, straight out of Michael Jackson's City Band. If you haven't seen that music clip, you'll get what I mean, because the references are like crazy in that as well. Now, fortunately, in some of the, in some of the numbers, uh, some of the actors, most of them can sing, most of them can't dance. <laughs> so yeah, so, um, there's a couple, there's two, um, um numbers. Um, one is, there was one with Jane. Uh, she was really good in that number. And there was a guy who was singing. And like, you're not in tune with the notes. Because when you sing, you're supposed to be in tune with the notes. And sometimes I've seen people sing. And um, it's like, you're not in tune with the song. Like, I saw a show one time with my family. And this girl sings. And I'm like, you're not in tune. You don't have to belt out such, such a big tune. Because you have to sing in tune with the songs. Because, you know... Uh, when I see it, I'm in tune, you know, I practice, you know, I've had city lessons, but, you know, you have to be in tune with the song that you see. And unfortunately, some of the songs are not, they're not, they're not in tune with the, 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 the actors or the actress are not in tune with the song. So that's pretty weird. But yeah, but um, the, the, he had two numbers. I think he was a little bit better in the other one, but still the pitch was a, li a little bit high as well. Sorry, my head got caught on me. So, yeah, so that's interesting. Also, there was another number with um, Nancy, and the actress also does not sing in tune with the lines. What is with this actress singing the lines with not two? It's insane. They should really could have, they should have gotten a, um, a choreographer, um, like a, someone to dance for them, or someone to read up the voices. Um, that's just insane that these newcomers can't sing that well. I mean, someone they can, someone they can't, but... Yeah, it's an interesting choice there that they did as well. So, yeah, so, yeah, there's a lot of songs in Greece that I really enjoyed. I liked Sorry Distract was a really good one. Please, Please, Please was a really good one. That was the episode 10 finale uh, song as well, so that was really good. But my all-time favorite, my favorite, favorite song out of this show is I Want More. Oh, my God, that was such a powerful number. I heard that was the last video I actually recorded, so that's interesting fact to see. That's interesting to, see, to hear as well. But the way that she just, you know, took empowerment of her, like, sorry, my hair is, sorry, I don't know what's going on. My, my hair has my, my hair has a mind of its own, guys. Sorry. So anyway, what's I saying? Oh yeah. So the way that she um, embodied the song made it so powerful. Her vocals are off the charts as well, and also that kind of. Kind of remind me of um, Olivia Newton-John's Hopelessly Devoted to You. Oh, my God. That is, like, one of my favorite songs from the Grease movie ever. And she knocked it out of the park. It was so cool as well. So, that's kind of, that's my all-time favorite song. And, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to uh, advise against that. It's such a good song. It made the top ten list of Miss Mojo, which I was very happy because I love that song. That's, like, one of my favorite songs as well. So, yeah, so those are my boss of Grease. Rise of the Big Ladies. What do you think? Have you seen the Grease movie? If you haven't, then you're missing that because there's a lot of references to Grease. If you haven't seen the movie Grease, I suggest you check that out as well. So, let me know in the comments, guys. Click like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get more updates. Also, you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram.